morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Septicai and welcome to a game called Entity Room. Now this is right up my alley, because any of you who know with the ego content that I do and Project Iris, I'll link it in the description, if I remember. I love that vibe and I'm trying to create a universe like that myself. So I want to check this one out and see what it's like and what it's all about. February 18th, 1987. I was almost born three years later and this God's gift to humanity came out. First day at the new section. I hope everything goes well. Oh, baby. I hope so too, but it probably won't. Do I have a camera for eyes? You know, I say that all the time, but I actually do like VHS effects, even when it's just on someone's eyeballs. First, I have to use flashlight. You got it, buckaroo. Can't do anything with these. Moving on. This is a lovely place to work. I love this. Wow, what's behind that door? I hope it's nothing that's gonna kill me. Hello? Knock, knock, knock. I'm sure it's fine. Don't anyone worry about it. Why is anyone worrying? This looks like a sanitary, lovely place to work. Don't touch anything, though. Hello? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are keeping the entities in. These are keeping them locked up. Ew. What is that? Oh. Do I actually have to mop? Someone's knocking at me. Ah, lovely. My station. Is this where Chase Brody lived? <laughs> For a little bit of his life? Okay. Gotcha. Cool. Gotcha. What are we doing? Email! This is an automatic email. Do not reply. Description of Entity 014. Highly dangerous of terrestrial origin, bipedal, uncanny human-like appearance. Skin doesn't reflect light. Glowing red eyes, body mass consists mostly of human meat. Develops more human-like appearance over time. Doesn't kill prey before eating. Extremely agile, can jump far distances. Total power failure resulting in E014 escaping from the room and killing the operator. By partaking in this operation, you agree with the Entity Research Facility, also known as ERF, will not be held responsible for any form of physical harm. It's also interesting playing a game like this now, because I've made content like this. Like, I've, I've gone in and made stuff like this myself, and had help with other people to make stuff like this, to kind of like build out worlds, and build out stories, and build out documents. And, oh man, do I have a lot planned. But, at the same time, it's also interesting to like, watch somebody else try out this kind of stuff. I love a good text document. I love audio recordings. I love like VHS camera quality shit. So this stuff is like right up my alley. Hello, my name is Matt. I was assigned to take care of onboarding you. So your job is actually pretty easy. The entity needs to be fed once a day with exactly one prisoner. To do that, just open the door R1 in through your computer. After it has eaten, the respective room needs to be cleaned. Open the door, R1 out through your computer. You'll need a strong stomach, but you get used to it. First throw body parts, if there are any left, into the container, then clean the blood with the mop. Okay. So, R1 in, go in, feed it, R1 out, mop. Okay, room one. Hey! Oh my god, is that Chonk Brogy? Is that Andy? Is that Andy? Can't be that scary if he's beating his head against the wall. Okay, you're dead. <laughs> and you're in between. This is like Goldilocks and the porridge. Is that the room I'm in? Yeah. No, operator room. Whoa. Entity room is. Oh, these are just the prisoners. Oh. Um, open R1 in. Okay. Cool! <laughs> Got it! And then open R1 out. Right, and then I go clean. Ah! Not so bad. 
Oh, this room's tiny! I should remove the body parts first. Oh, that's what was in the bucket! Ew! Gross! It's like I'm playing Viscera cleanup detail now. Ugh, Viscera! Oh, man. You got- oh, uh, uh, What is that? Uh, oh, it's bits of people. Uh, uh. I mean, I get that you went blind for the sake of the game not having to show an animation, but... <laughs> was that necessary? You're just mopping in the dark, just... Clean! <laughs> Moving on! And now I close this again, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just open the door R1 into your computer. After it is eaten, the respective room needs to be cleaned. Open R1 out your computer in your strong stomach. Go into the container, then clean to blow them up. Ah, easy. Good job. Hey, good job. Looks like you're a natural. Hey, that's off to us. Let's just have a nice sip of our lovely top of the morning coffee that I'm actually drinking out of an Elden Ring mug. It says, yeah, you can't see it. It says rise tarnish. Have you checked the CCTV? Nowadays they have a night vision mode. Pretty heckin' cool if you ask me. Oh yeah, it's 1987. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, while the entity is eating, the CCTV is taken offline. We don't want our operators to be disturbed. Anyway, you're done for the day. You can go to sleep already, if you want. Tomorrow will be pretty similar. Feed the entity, clean the room, rinse and repeat. Okay. You got it, buckaroo. I should turn off the lights first, yeah. Yeah, turn off the lights, close the door, take a whiz. There we go, ah. The lovely white noise hum of oppressive air conditioning in an industrial complex. That puts the nerves at ease. <laughs> okay, cool, I like it. Oh, is it that five more minutes, mom? Is it time for school already? Uh... Hello? Hey, my thing don't work! Good morning. You probably saw that the lights aren't working. Don't worry, it's basic maintenance on one of your electricity generators. It's just the lights. Everything else still works fine. Just use your flashlight. Today will be pretty similar to yesterday. Press the button R2 in. Okay, room two. The entity wants breakfast. Don't let it wait. P.S. Don't forget to clean the room afterwards. Okay, so our this room's just empty now? Got it. Well, he's already dead, so I don't feel as bad about that one. Is, are, are you good? Did you eat? Ah. Nothing but arms and testicles left everywhere. Um. Oh. I'll do maintenance on the generator afterwards. I don't want this place stinking up. It's already bad enough that he chewed him up in there. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Whoa! Let's give him a hand! Oh, I don't know what part of you this is, but it came out of you. Came out of you as it went into him. Hold on, I'm cleaning! Ah! That does it! Ah, lovely. Spotless. Probably should change my blood bucket, though. <laughs> Where do I go fix my generators, though? That are a question. What the fuck does Matt want? Hey, good job again, dude. You really are a natural. I know hearing those screams can have a negative effect on your psyche. But trust me, those people we're feeding to the entity are scum. That makes it better. They did unspeakable, highly immoral things to other people, like crypto scams. They should be happy that they're allowed to contribute to this experiment. We sometimes jokingly call them organ donors. <laughs> we have no soul. Anyway, our research on Entity 014 could lead to breakthroughs, not just for military, but also medical purposes. Also, keep that in mind when doing your work. P.S. You're done for the day. Kind regards, Matt. Can I fix my generator? 
What's in this hard drive, Matt? Is it your saucy, saucy nudes? Okay, sorry I asked! What if Matt's the entity? What if Matt's in there just chilling? Okay, I can't do anything. Guess I should turn off the lights! Can you turn off the lights? Try to sleep! Thank you! Oh. Did I coordinate with the monster? Did I just see from their side of view? God fucking damn it. Everything's locked up, right? Yeah. Oh, Matty boy, my favorite boy. <laughs> Matty B in the place to be. Hey, day three. Not that exciting now, is it? Usually that's the point where your work is becoming a boring routine. Anyway, you probably know what to do. Feed the entity, clean the room, take a shit, bust a nut, go to sleep, fat stack, fuck bitches, get money, haha. -ha. It's important to have a sense of humor working in an environment like this. Well, I'm sorry, Matt, but I have nutted over every square inch of this room. There is nothing else to do. Anyway, tomorrow a new batch of prisoners will arrive. Fresh meat. Yeah, we want some meat. Don't worry, they're handcuffed, and our guards will bring them into their rooms. Just make sure those rooms are clean. We don't want them to be uncomfortable. <laughs> P.S. The entity room camera works again. Woohoohoo! <laughs> baby! Matt, it don't work no more! I saw an eyeball! He's gonna break out. Whatever that creature is, gonna break out. Um, okay, so... Have fun! Eat away! All done? Okay, cool. I should really check... these cameras, because he comes in and he eats in here. But what's stopping him from just staying in that room? Like, if I open that door, what if he just comes running at me? Oh boy. Oh, he left a head this time. Do you have a face? I can't put you down. Sorry. Sorry, fella. Sorry. We all die someday, but none of us deserve to go out like this. Nasty way to go. See, this is what happens, folks. This is what happens when you do crypto. Just one non-fungible token. One NFT and then you're eviscerated. Remember when people all did NFTs? And now they're just non-existent? <laughs> it's great. <sighs> ah, clean. I take pride in my work. Anyway, time to head to bed. I wake up and do 10 minutes work and then go back to sleep. Ah, cleaned up body parts. Oh, look at that time. Time for my nap. <laughs> I'm like a cat. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I'm fucked up, but I'm up. They want to get- Okay! I didn't even have a chance! Was- is that it? Is there only one ending? Can I actually hide? I didn't even get a chance to get away! So apparently that's it! <laughs> Just one ending, I was fed to the entity, I'm dead, Th that's all they wrote. Sorry guys, I tried my best. I thought I was great at my job. And then suddenly, that was cool. I like that. I wish there was a little more to it, but overall, I enjoyed it. There's a lot of atmosphere. There's a lot of like, what's going on here? What are we actually doing? And sometimes short, sweet, and simple are the best ways to be. And it's free, so you can't really complain. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my coffee, topofthemorningcoffee.com. Ooh, baby. And if you want more stuff kind of like this, you can go check out Project Iris that I did. It's uploaded on the channel. You can find links to it everywhere. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.